Let's go over EKG basics part two. Now that we've covered the main waves, the P wave, the QRS complex, and the T wave, let's talk about a few other important parts you'll see on an EKG. First up is the PR interval. The PR interval is the time it takes for the electrical signal to travel from the atria to the ventricles. So from the start of atrial depolarization to the start of ventricular depolarization. A normal PR interval is 0.12 to 0.2. 0 seconds. If it's longer than 0.2 seconds, that could indicate a delay like a first degree heart block. Next is the ST segment. The ST segment shows the time between ventricular depolarization and repolarization, when the ventricles are contracting but not yet resetting. This section should be flat on the baseline or isoelectric. If it's elevated or depressed, it could mean ischemia or injury. Finally, let's look at the QT interval. The QT interval measures the total time for ventricular depolarization and repolarization, or one full cycle of contraction and recovery for the ventricles. A prolonged QT interval can increase the risk for dangerous rhythms like torsades de points or VTAC. If you liked how I broke down this information, you should check out the Anatomy and Physiology Navigator on my shop, Nurse in the Making. Happy studying.